everyone. Welcome to Time Crunch Tuesday. Today I am going to recreate a snack that I have made previously on these Time Crunch Tuesdays. And it's one of my favorite go-to before gym snacks or as a meal. I like to say you could always have one for a snack and two for a meal, especially with a cup of tea or coffee. And what I'm going to do differently today with these is show you two really great ingredients that I've discovered recently so that it really will enhance the nutrition quality of these snacks as well as uh, keep the flavor just as amazing and keep all the nutrients high quality and clean. So what I use today is this Organifi vegan vanilla protein. It is my go-to protein for smoothies and as you'll see these amazing um, protein bites that I'm making. So this is a really good protein if you are gluten-free like I am and dairy-free uh, and there's no added sugar and it's great for added protein just in your regular run-of-the-mill meals. Another way that I like to use oatmeal or I like to use protein powders in oatmeal. I do one scoop of this vanilla in my regular bowl of oatmeal and it just blends in great. Secondly, I am using this Cocoa Bliss powder and it is a great substitute for regular cocoa powder. So in this case, I'm making chocolate uh, flavored protein bites and it calls for two scoops of cocoa powder. So instead of just using regular cocoa powder, I'm using this because there are added vitamins and nutrients to it. Again, no added sugar and it tastes just as good as regular chocolate with some superfood benefits. So I really recommend this. Lastly, to elevate the flavor of these protein bites, I am using some PB2 powder, which is essentially just dried up peanut butter. Uh, so a lot of the fat and uh, saturated fat is eliminated and it's just boiled down to powder. This is another one that's great in a smoothie or sprinkled on top of oatmeal. It enhances anything to that peanut butter flavor without the extra salt and fat and calories. So these are the three extra ingredients that I'm using to make the all too familiar chocolate protein bites. And these are also um, dairy-free, gluten-free. They could be vegan. I used honey, but you could always use maple syrup as a substitute. So all you're going to do to make these look really pretty is add these ingredients that I showed you, as well as some almond butter and uh, some coconut oil and chia seeds and cinnamon into a bowl and then you have to refrigerate it because of the melted coconut oil and the almond butter and the honey it, it's really soft so after you refrigerate it it kind of like it's hard so that's what you want so that it's perfectly moldable and unlike the other oat bites that I use the little ice cream scoop for. This you just need a regular spoon. Um, so just scoop off some and as you can see it, you want it to stick. This is the best consistency. Um, and then you just roll it in your hands like little meatballs. And I chose to dip mine in some sliced almonds. You could do coconut, uh, shredded coconut or additional cocoa powder. I don't recommend leaving them plain just because as they melt, they get a little funny um, and sticky, to be honest, and kind of messy. So you kind of want at least something to coat them so that you're not just touching it plain. Um, another thing is, too, to leave it out a few minutes before you start rolling them so that they do get a little softer for molding in your hand as well as allowing the almonds to stick. And these make about 16. Uh, this is my 16th one. I have a little bit left over, but I made a few kind of small. So for good measurement purposes, expect to make 16. So there you have it. They are amazing as is, or like I said, with tea or coffee, a great pre-workout snack because they don't weigh you down, but they're full of protein and healthy fats and just a little bit of sugar through the honey, so it's all natural, and it's really nutrient dense, so you don't feel like you're just eating a bunch of empty calories. 
So that is my Time Crunch Tuesday tip of the week. I hope that you enjoyed this little segment. It is the holiday season, so as you can tell, I'm doing a little more of a, a sweet take on things. A lot of my next few videos will be about uh, great holiday swaps because, who are we kidding, we're going to eat the sweets. And we might as well make it high quality, good stuff, so that when we have an occasional candy cane or I don't know, peppermint bark, we could enjoy it guilt-free. So I thank you so much for being here for Time Crunch Tuesday. I will see you next week and have a great week.